Waveheart. Oh, it's. Oh. Got it. Life is better. So, walking out to my car so we can do a little bit of filming right now. Okay. Okay. Made it to the car. Let's see. Could set you up over here. And then, oh, so bright. How about, oh man, this angle thing is just not, ooh, ooh, right there. You're just, hey, you wanna, you wanna talk? You wanna hang, okay. Let's uh, flip it twice. I wonder if I'm upside down now. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Such a spaz, okay. <laughs> It just comes with the territory. It's, just, it's what you get. That's what you get when you film with Luke. Whoa, uh, uh, uh. <sighs> you looking to? <laughs> Hey buddy, hey, you looking to get into the technology field? That's good, that's real good. You found one of the best technology channels on the internet. <laughs> what up? So things are really good. Why do I always do that when I start videos? I'm like, let's rub your eyeball. Oh, eyeball rub. I feel really good. I feel very focused. I feel this sense of calm confidence in everything that I'm doing. It's like no matter what effort I'm putting out, it's going to result in victory. I'm going to be successful in what I'm pursuing. And what I'm pursuing right now is fun. Not having fun, not fun activities. I'm not taking a four-wheeler across the dunes or something like that. No, no, no. I mean, I'm having fun with what I'm doing. Uh, the other day, I installed some libraries for Python, and I felt like a damn wizard. I felt like a wizard, and it felt so good. It felt so good. Installing things via command line, and I know that's really simple. I know... You can probably do that. I know I can do that now, but it, it was just fun writing things on Python, install, dash M, pip, insert library package, and then watching that little progress bar show up in command line. I didn't even know it did that. It's just that kind of skill acquisition or skill revelation because yeah, it's... It's not like I really developed a skill. I just typed some stuff in and realized I could do that. Oh, it felt good. And I had fun doing that. Uh, so here I am. Drinking a hazelnut coffee. Right now, what I'm studying is machine learning. I'm very fascinated by the field of data science, yes, but also just machine learning in general. Um, my AI experience includes reading a textbook post-graduation, and it's interesting, definitely. I, th I think the future is going to include a lot more of these machine learning techniques and algorithms that I've been studying. I think that different industries will be revolutionized by automation. And I don't think that's really that far-fetched of a guess. Beyond that, uh, machine learning is the application of statistics to better understand models and to predict behavior. So that applies to all kinds of things that could be used in business analytics that can be used by pretty much every company because they need to understand their customer base. They need to understand why they logged out at that specific time or why they didn't buy the product or why they did buy the product or business analytics, basically. Um, 
And there's more to it than that as well. I mean, this can be applied to any industry. And I'm not going to give any more examples because my brain keeps coming back to business stuff right now. I like coding. I'm enjoying just trying to debug a program, trying to figure out why my syntax doesn't work, trying to figure out if I'm doing something that was approved more for an older version of Python. That's that's fun, having to look up an API. That's fun, trying to figure out how GUIs work. How to, I know I've got a long road in front of me, and I'm not deterred by that. It's not daunting to me. I'm filled with this this confidence, this, this knowledge that whatever I'm doing will result in victory because I'm just going to keep plowing forward. It's a really relaxed feeling. I don't feel relaxed. I don't feel calm. That's not quite the way to say it. I do feel calm. I, I feel confident that my efforts are going to pay off. I feel confident that whatever it is I put my mind to, I'll accomplish. And I think it's because I believe in this idea of working towards a goal. When you put in the work, you'll accomplish it. It's only a matter of time. How much effort and time are you putting into it? Eventually, something's going to work out. Maybe you aren't going to get the job at Google on your first go around. But, but maybe you'll land a side gig setting up some kind of presentation that someone needs. And then that contact will get you an internship at a smaller business in your area. And then in six months, you'll go to a different place. And maybe in three years, you'll end up at Google. Who knows? My point is that it all tends to work out in the end. All you got to do is keep going. Just keep putting in the effort. And I actually believe that. And there are, there are many, many examples in my life of when that doesn't work. And... When I think about those, I, I think about those more as a lesson of you've got to learn when to stop as well. <laughs> it doesn't matter how hard I try. I'm not going to climb that cactus over there. I'm staring right at it. I'll show you a little later in the video. Uh, no matter how much effort I put into climbing that, I just, uh, I'm not going to climb that. And that's, you know, that might not be the most applicable example, but I think of my sales career, honestly. It wasn't a good fit for me. I had to go into that to learn that. I had to spend the time trying my hand at sales to really understand that I'm not a sales guy. Okay. I can talk the lingo. I can have conversations with people. I enjoy conversing with others. I, I enjoy the sales process. I really like the theory behind it. I really enjoy helping people help themselves. It was, it was so much less of, um, sleazy salesman stuff and it was more of like they are the connection between you and the thing that can help you their product and people have this aversion towards making decisions not necessarily towards buying things i mean we we have a debt problem in the u.s people aren't averse to buying things they're averse to making decisions and so working in sales helped my social skills quite a bit but the amount of work that would be necessary for me to be the next Zig Ziglar, Grant Cardone, uh, the next Wolf of Wall Street, whoever, it'd be a very large amount of effort. And I was not willing to put in the work necessary to achieve that goal. Cool. Okay. On the other hand, I am willing to put in the work necessary to learn these these different technological skills, because they build off of what I'm already doing every day, what I'm already interested in, what I already have a history in. But I'm the way my brain works is a little different than the way a salesperson's brain works. It's a little different than some of my IT friends' brains work. It's everyone's brain is different, obviously. But I feel like there's the right career path, the right job for certain people. <sighs> You don't want certain people teaching kids. And what comes to mind immediately is like someone with a temper, right? So <laughs> there's going to be good fits for people in in uh, different industries. Um, right now what I'm studying 
feels like a good fit for me. Technology. I, 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 it's, it's weird to describe. It's, it's like finding a sweater that fits just right. You're like, yes, this, this sweater fits me. <laughs> yeah, good job. And everyone else can notice it too. People told me, oh, you'll be good at sales. Oh, you'd be really good at that. I could see you being good at that. Thank you. Yes, I look you in the eye when we talk. Not the camera, but people. <laughs> uh, I, I look people in the eye when I talk to them. And I smile a lot. And I actually listen. And I participate in the conversation. I don't just wait for my chance to say something. I, so they're like, you'd be good at it. Thank you. In one way I was. But no. If, let's say my wife, she spends a lot of time around me. When we made this decision that I should pursue a different career than sales, that I should be moving more in a direction of technology, she said something along the lines of, this is a good fit for you. And that's not just because I'm interested in technology. It's because I'm so excited when I'm explaining what I'm learning to her. When we're we're going through a new learning exercise and she's like, look at how much energy you have when you're talking about this new process or this thing you're doing or this thing you built. I've been coding some stuff in my, on my lunches at work. And I made a number guessing game the other day. It was cute. It was like 50 lines of code and it could probably be shrunk down a little bit, but it's like 50 lines of code and it just guesses or it makes you guess the number that it's thinking of. It was fun. It's fun. It, it, that won't get me a job. That won't get me hired at Google, as we mentioned. But, uh, but I had so much fun coding it. I had fun showing it to her and asking her to try to break it. And she's so adorable, by the way. She, I was like, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. guess the number. And, and the computer told her, the program told her, um, guess the number between one and 10. Okay. And she just did that a few times and, until she could win a few times. And, and I was like, try to break it, you know, type in cats or type in 25 or something. And she would, she type in 25 and then she'd go back to guessing between one and 10. And I'm like, try to break it, please. You're, you're my QA right now. <laughs> and she, she was so focused on winning. It was, it was cute. I'm really curious to see where this machine learning studying takes me. I don't know if I'll be leaving the IT field to go into data science or to go into some kind of machine learning engineer position. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I go more of a network administrator route, stay in IT. I don't know. What I do know is what I knew a few months ago, that where I was at that time, at that time where I was, wasn't working. And so I need to focus more on my strengths, tech, get into this IT industry, and wherever I'll be then will lead to the next thing, okay? And it is. Right now, I'm, I'm choosing to, and I'm being called to study this Python machine learning, download this library and build a model, <laughs> figure out some SQL stuff so that I can pull a data set and analyze that and Scrub the data. <laughs> Whatever this leads to will be another thing on top of that. So IT now is leading into machine learning, could lead into something else. And whatever I learn here helps the IT career as well. I My command, my command line skills have gone up. My ability to debug server issues has gone up. Printers are no longer intimidating. So it all compounds on itself, regardless of if I ever pursue this or not. It all helps. And wherever I go next will lead to the next thing and the next thing. Because you put in the effort, it works out. Every time. <laughs> it's just like, this nation is so awesome for that. If you're willing to put in the work, if you're willing to go home and do the extra two hours of studying, if you're on your lunch and you're cramming a little food in and you use the other 25 minutes to study something, 
that will pay off. Every day you spend 30 minutes getting better, just get a little bit better every day. <laughs> By the end of your life, you've improved so much. So, so much. And here in this nation, they'll pay you for that. Get better and better and your work will pay off. You got to learn how to apply it. You got to, <laughs> I'm not saying like if you sit alone in your room and you get better and better at something that people will just run to you with money. That makes no sense. How do you apply those skills to solve problems for other people? The harder the problem is that you're solving, the more money they'll give you. We, we see this time and again. And if you don't believe me, go Google that stuff. Go Google it, son. Go look up stories of like rags to riches, okay? Go look up Eric Thomas. Go listen to that guy for a while. His story is wonderful. And he's a very good motivational speaker. And he's very relatable. He didn't start with a lot. And he's in a very good place. And he'll help you get there too. <laughs> Every Monday. You know what I mean when you Google him? He's wonderful. Highly, highly recommend Eric Thomas. Um, the point of this whole thing is put in the work. You will be rewarded. Maybe not in the way that you expect, but it will work out. That's it. That's the whole point of this vlog. I just... Feel so good about what I'm doing. I'm going to keep doing it. In the meantime, what kind of libraries are you using in your machine learning journey? Because <laughs> I kind of went a little library heavy. Not going to lie. I have like pandas and how am I pronouncing this? Kiris? Kiras? Kiras? <laughs> and uh, Scikit-learn and a, a handful of different machine learning libraries. And um, as far as playing with them goes... That comes a little later this week. Now it's Thursday, so today, tomorrow. Um, should I just be focusing on one of them? Because they all seem to perform specific duties, and there's some overlap, and like maybe just focus on the scikit learn for now. A few job postings I've been looking at, they, they include uh, experience with the K1 and with pandas. Um, so I, I really don't think I can lose like working with any of them or all of them, but I would much rather focus than spread myself thin. I'd much rather like work on this project and then work on this project. And maybe that's the answer. Maybe it's just, just pick something to build and work on and whatever tools you need to finish that project, do that. I think that's probably the way to go. Thanks camera. <laughs> yeah. More on this later. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. Study hard. And if I may.